And let me say at the outset, perhaps to the surprise of a previous speaker, Palestine has not existed since 1948. My leading Republican opponent has promised that he, as president, would be neutral between Israel and the Palestinians. Well, let me be very, very clear. As president, I will not be neutral. America will stand unapologetically with the nation of Israel. But today, I give you a word of hope. In the next few months, we will bring this country together, first by unifying the Republican Party, and then by reaching out and building a coalition of young people and Hispanics and African Americans and women and blue-collar workers and Jewish voters and Reagan Democrats. America will stand with Israel and defeat radical Islamic terrorism. I entirely agree with Prime Minister Netanyahu as Hamas would place rockets in elementary schools. They place their headquarters in the basement of a hospital. And I would note that Hillary Clinton in 2014 explained this as follows, quote, Hamas puts its missiles, its rockets, in civilian areas. Part of it is because Gaza's pretty small and it's densely populated. Well, Madam Secretary, with all respect, the reason the missiles are in schools is not because Gaza is small. The reason the missiles are in schools is because Hamas are terrorist monsters using children as human shields.